There is still a long road ahead for people in Franklin County as they recover from devastating floods. Good evening, everyone. I'm Amanda Hill. Brian Yacono has the night off. Some roads remain closed down days after flash floods hit the area. New Center Maine's David Guildford spent the day in Jay. He joins us live with more of the scene there. Hi, David. Hi, Amanda. As promised, the Maine DOT has reopened all but one state road here in Jay. It's this one, Route 133. Meanwhile, the town's fire chief tells me it'll be months before all of the town roads through all the nooks and crannies here are repaired as well. And he said motorists are making things worse by getting in the way and getting themselves into trouble. Chief Mike Booker told us today he and his crews have pulled at least five vehicles to safety over the weekend after drivers moved or drove around obvious barricades that the fire department had put there themselves. Those vehicles then plunged into massive washouts as deep as six feet. Booker said these unnecessary emergencies are taking first responders away from the looming work of assessing damage here and answering other legitimate emergency calls in the area. It's been hectic. It's we've had multiple vehicle crashes, uh, people going around barricades, not following directions, moving barricades. So out of staters are following their GPS right back onto the Franklin Road 133 crashing into holes and it just and then a lot of the vehicles coming from down south they're on the franklin road and they're getting in the way of the highway crews trying to repair the damage yeah booker urges motorists please don't move any of the barricades that they have put out here on the other side of the coin, Amanda, coming up at six, we'll hear from some folks who have had some interesting journeys just getting across town to work. David Guildford, live in Jay. Look forward to hearing about that. David, thank you.